Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress hooks tutorial for beginners and this is our part 3. In this video session guys, we will see one of the action hook called visits in it. Okay, and also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WordPress hooks tutorial. So basically guys, visits init action hook is used to basically to register our widgets okay so there are two documentation links guys actually you can follow to read all these things about registering widgets okay the first link actually tell you about the registration of your sidebar and the second link show you that how can we display your registered sidebar to your theme okay so we are going to register a sidebar and now we are also going to display that sidebar actually we will register so if we move to administrator panel and now here in, inside the dashboard if you go to appearances and now widgets action okay so basically widgets in it action hook tells you that when the widgets initialize means this is the name clears that widgets in it it means that the widgets initialization step okay if your themes widgets are initialized then this action hook will fire okay so we want that when our widgets initializes then at the at that time we are going to register a new sidebar here okay so how can we register that so just back to editor so this is the simple plugin guys that we have made inside video number two where we have discussed about action hook called init this is called the theme installation or wordpress setup installation okay so instead of this we are going to discuss about widgets init okay so first of all let's make a function so let's say that function owt register sidebar okay so this function actually basically calls when let's say add action when our widgets init okay so widgets init and we have to pass this function as a callback function okay so just scroll down and now back to browser so basically guys we have a documentation called register sidebar this is one of the wordpress function basically used to register our custom sidebar okay so now this function actually basically we will call inside widgets and it action hook okay why because this action hook will actually will fire when our widgets in slices okay so just i'm going to copy all these codes okay so just i'm copy back to editor and now let me paste inside this function block okay so let me make some parameters detail so register sidebar basically guys take some of the parameters inside an array okay basically this is an array okay so inside this array we have some key value pairs first parameter called name okay so what basically name indicates so if you go to administrator panel here we can see that blog sidebar footer 2 footer 1 this is nothing this is called the name of the sidebar okay so basically we have to pass the name here okay so if we get rid of the second parameter called theme slug let's define called owt sidebar okay this is the name and the second parameter is about the id okay so basically guys all the id of these sidebars actually should be unique okay so we have to pass some unique name to our custom sidebars okay so basically let's make that sidebar so instead of sidebar one let's say owt sidebar okay this is one so this is a unique id of our custom registered sidebar okay next we have to pass on the description section okay so if we back to browser so right now there is no description for these sidebars okay so we want to specify some of the description for that sidebar okay so basically let's declare that so if we get rid of the dummy values so let's say that this is online web tutor widgets in need action hook study okay next parameter we have to define about the before visit and after visit and before title and the after title okay about these parameters guys actually we will make all these concepts clear when we actually show this sidebar to our front end section but before that i will tell you that when suppose if we show this sidebar to our front end section so basically it will make a ul tag okay so inside that ul tag this basically visits in slices inside li tag okay here we have some id this is the placeholder and this is the class next the title section actually we will specify for this sidebar actually will display inside this h2 tag okay so just we have to save this file back to administrator panel and now reload this page once we reload as we can see that here is our custom sidebar that we have registered called owt sidebar okay this is online web tutor visits in it action hook study okay this is the description section video guys that we have specified under this section 
okay this is a function right here called double underscore and the parenthesis bracket okay this is called the wordpress function okay basically instead of this you can actually also specify if suppose we don't want to use about this function so basically we can actually write this also here okay so let me revert back about the wordpress function so this is a function basically used to echo of the statement so back to administrator panel and now here is the sidebar okay so let's add some of the elements inside this our custom sidebar okay so let me drag and drop called custom html and now we want to show this custom html inside this owt sidebar okay so basically we have two ways either we can click on the element and we have to select on the sidebars and click on add visit okay and also if suppose we don't want to click let me remove that so let's delete also we can actually drag and drop here okay so here we have to specify some of the values for this custom element widget okay so let's pass title here so let's say OWT custom sidebar okay and let's pass some of the contents inside this h3 tag okay so let's say h3 tag this is OWT visits init action hook okay so if we save this visit and now we have one custom element inside our custom sidebar okay so how can we make display to this sidebar to our page okay so just if we click on the pages section of our WordPress setup these are the pages guys that we have created so far okay so if we click on view we are going to view about OWT Ajax page that we have created okay so right now we have only one button there is no sidebar actually displaying so if we want to display our sidebar that we have registered we have to call on the page okay so just back to folder structure go to your themes folder and now inside 2017 because this is the current activated theme okay just I'm going to open about footer.php file okay inside this footer.php file first of all guys we have to call that sidebar that we have registered okay so to display the sidebar we have a function wordpress function called dynamic sidebar okay so by the help of function called dynamic sidebar we can actually show the sidebar that we have registered okay so just i'm going to copy this code back to page that we have opened called footer.php let me paste the code the here okay so basically what actually this code means here we have used two function called is active sidebar and this is dynamic sidebar first function actually will check that the sidebar has been actually exist or not okay it check the existence of that sidebar okay so basically we have specified the key or the id called owt sidebar one this is the id so basically just make copy of that go to page and now we have to check that this id exists or not means that this sidebar is active or not okay so if it is active if it is active then this function will turn the boolean value called true okay so after getting the true value it will run this ul tag okay so now inside this dynamic sidebar we have to call that id basically dynamic sidebar function guys used to display your custom sidebar okay so if this sidebar is active we want to display so we have to use called dynamic sidebar okay so if we save this page go to pure front end page and reload this section so once we reload as we can see at the footer section we have our registered sidebar called OWT custom sidebar and this is OWT is visits in it action hook okay we can actually guys drag and drop more elements inside our custom sidebar okay so let's suppose we want to add some of something called search so if we click on that add to OWT sidebar click on add visit so this is the search bar that we are going to show inside our custom sidebar okay so if we go to page reload this page and now if you scroll down we have a search bar inside our custom sidebar okay so this is how guys actually a sidebar works by the help of function called register sidebar so let's make clear some of the parameters that we have discussed so far called before visit and after visit before title and after title okay so if you go to front end inspect this element and now inside the element section guys here is we can see that li tag this is ul tag this is ul tag basically we have defined right here okay if finding that this side sidebar is active we have made ul with id sidebar okay so basically this use a ul element right here but now this is li element actually coming from here that we have defined called before visit okay this is the id 
this is indicated by placeholder and now inside this class we have a visit class and now second parameter is about the placeholder so if you go to front end page now here we can see that visit text visit and now visit custom HTML this is the class actually defined or coming from by the using this placeholder okay so this is a light tag so if we go if we go and find about the before title so basically this is called h2 and class which is title so just back to front end here we have called h2 tag and inside h2 tag here we have class called widget title okay so basically what the title we have specified fight or custom sidebar or custom element this is indicated within h2 element if we back to administrator panel here we have dropped two elements inside our sidebar okay so basically for this custom html we have called title called owt custom sidebar okay so this title actually coming inside this widget title called h2 tag okay and this is another li tag for our search box okay so if we open that now inside that here we have a form this is basically indicated by this custom search box form okay so basically guys this is not the video session about to display and register sidebar here we have to understand about the concept of called action hook called a widgets in it this action hook which basically calls when we want to register any sidebar any visit at the widgets initialization step okay this action hook denotes that so basically on firing this widgets in it we can actually register our sidebar and visit okay along with this action hook guys we actually understand about register sidebar dynamic sidebar and now we have also seen about the function called is active sidebar okay so guys i think that by the help of this video session i have made much more clear concept about action hook called widgets in it and now along with this we have seen three different functions okay so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day